Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, so this is either your energy or it is theirs. Now I do have <clears throat> the Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, so, I mean, this could be you, but I mean, the other person could be also thinking about you. So it could still go either way, you know. It's like you guys are not talking. Um, somebody, uh, somebody decided not to put their effort into a relationship uh, or to take it any further. Um, somebody has, uh, we also, okay, we also have the Eight of Swords here in the reverse. This is somebody, um, facing the fears, uh, or facing their fears about uh, a relationship or about, uh, why, uh, someone walked away or why someone didn't put the effort, um, but the fact that this person is in has her back to this information here, I feel like they don't want to look at it. Their focus here is on the past and possibly um, <clears throat> could be feeling uh, upset about uh, about this situation from the past. Um, we're going to go deeper here into the cards and get more details. There's a lot of mental turmoil, um, for whomever this is, you or they, with the five of swords. And it's something, um, somebody, this person wants to break free. They're mentally stuck. Okay. Um, stuck on, on their, on their thoughts. Um, the biggest thing or the biggest fear I feel is this card, uh, which is they feel like maybe they can't really rely on this and, and they don't want to look at that. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, so that's what I think that is. But interestingly enough, <laughs> uh, there's always a twist <laughs> Interestingly enough, okay, first of all, woman holding a heart, um, well, that's definitely um, somebody coming towards you, okay, so um, it can speak to any issues you have uh, getting resolved. So, At the heart of the reading, we have the seventh chakra. It's like you're surrounded by angels. The seventh chakra is um, spirit connections. Your intuition and inspiration. Your connection to the divine. It is the crown chakra. So in the upright, like it is, uh, it indicates a very open and free flowing channel of information and inspiration from the spirit world. Okay, so uh, now is a great time of um, intuition and guidance from your higher awareness. But you must learn to quiet your mind and listen to it. The connection is open now. And you will find that your own spirit and the spirits around you will be able to provide the answers you seek. But you must quiet your mind and clearly you're unable to do that at this moment, you or they, okay? 
So what we have is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, I feel it could be it could be a couple of things. It could be a relationship that didn't get off the ground. But it could also be information you're not seeing, information that gets buried or pushed aside because it's in a hole in the ground. Here, it's uncovered in the upright, but in the reverse, I would see it as being buried. I feel like, uh, frankly, uh, what's blocking this person, you or them, is an old wound. And um, it's blocking them and creating thoughts and creating turmoil in the mind. Messages are being sent, but somebody is not responding and I'm talking about spiritual messages because we have the um, we have the uh, Archangel Uriel here the seventh chakra and so <clears throat> you may well indeed get a message and, and I feel you will because this card <laughs> it says so, but I feel like it's like a dual message. It's a dual message. I feel like the intuition is blocked. I feel like I feel like spirit is trying to send you uh, messages, guidance. You or they. I keep saying you. I'm sorry. You is whoever this energy belongs to. <laughs> That's basically it. Okay. So, the emperor is puzzled. Look. There he is. He's puzzled. He sits on his throne in his castle. And he stares down at that floor, which really looks like a chessboard to me. It is above and it is below. But there are no pieces indicating to me that he doesn't know what to do to restore the order or the balance. But this picture says more. If you look what he's holding in his hand, he has, an, I don't know if you can see it clearly, it's like the golden apple. <laughs> he has the wisdom. It's blocked. It could be blocked because he's leaning on that sword. It looks like he's literally leaning on it. So that's a thought that he has. That's giving him perhaps or causing him a lot of turmoil here. Now, this could be about an action or somebody's action or, yeah, this could be about, per, perhaps it's even about what is the next best move to make, you know, but he's not really listening because he's too focused on what he's lost and the emotions are, are charging up these, these swords and these thoughts and so he can't hear. he or she, whoever this is. Somebody's very focused on uh, a relationship or, that they've lost and they may not be understanding. Here we see uh, strength justice and the tower. 
I feel like somebody has something to reveal. Something that could shock the other person. But uh, they're afraid to do this. And it could have to do with a tower moment that has already occurred. And they keep putting off this conversation. Because of fear. I feel like somebody may have walked away. They could have been, uh, there could have been two people, but they, they, they could have been uh, juggling two different things. Um, but I feel like they dropped one and then I feel like they've changed their mind. I mean, the fool, he wants to go back to the past. He's heading whoop, back to the past. He wants to follow his heart. His heart is in the past. It's still there. But there seems to be some type of expected uh, result already determined in their mind. And I feel that they kind of holds them make uh, it or keeps them trapped here this is about a decision about how to proceed with something or to proceed or not so they're studying they're studying the idea the possibilities um, what might come of uh, of this should they do this or should they do that it's like they're they're going over it in their mind or going over all of the possibilities whoever this is i'm telling you they are in love look at that the magician the wheel of fortune and the ace of cups and so this person wants a new start, wants another chance. Um, this person wants to make a new offer. This person is in love. This person has most likely f feelings of love or is wanting another chance to express their feelings to you. <clears throat> and I feel they're going to get the opportunity to do it. There's regret. They're feeling, somebody's feeling bad you or they, whoever this energy belongs to. Um, whoever this is, they're thinking and they're thinking like um, wanting to turn, turn back the hands of time. Wanting to make amends. Whoever it is is under the other person's spell. We have the love potion here. Um, in love. Okay. But there's that obstacle again. It's possible they need more awakening with that card there. Angel of Balance. And so... Um, She's here to remind this person, who, whoever this energy belongs to, that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of both personal balance and emotional balance. Things may have been out of sync in the past, but this angel's appearance is telling you that a greater balance is now or soon coming into your life. Whenever you feel off-center, 
you can call upon the angel of balance. Quiet the mind and body and listen to your intuition. Let her guide you. That's what somebody's not doing. <coughs> the mind is blocked by a lot of negative thoughts, past experiences, negative experiences, somebody being very focused. They need to step away from the problem and relax the mind and uh, quiet the mind and they will see the solution here sitting in the future ace of wands and you know what it is a door it is a doorway that opens onto the past yep a chance to wipe the slate clean isn't that what the wheel is saying yes a chance to yes face your fears a trap uh, a trap <laughs> a, a chance to uh, step out of that trap uh, like the mind trap, you know? A chance to be set free from this card again. You see, it keeps coming back around. This is somebody who wants to break free. And so, you know, um, having the desire to do so and actually doing it <laughs> it's two different things but it is a first step yeah see okay well there you go they're having uh, they're struggling maybe there's like a tug of war when it comes to that it's like I do and I don't <laughs> Um, and so this has to do with uh, somebody, uh, somebody who walked away. Um, uh, it, it could be this person that having to deal with these feelings of having walked away from something and then realizing what they lost, you know, because they've got a calling. There's a calling here with judgment and the ace of coins to go back and make amends to go back and wipe the slate clean to do the right thing with justice being here also this is a very valued relationship I mean they really value you um, um, I feel like it is a divine union Oh, justice again. Hmm. So, this is about finding a solution, okay? First of all, we have the association here. Oh, God, look at that. Ace of coins twice. Ace of swords. This is about, you know, getting that courage to face one's fear. Oh, my God. Ace of swords. Page of cups. Ace of, of coins. Ace of coins here also. It's getting the courage, really, to step up and face their fears and, and come forward. And for this agreement, for this association, to make amends. Perhaps a new promise, a new offer. Whatever, and, and I'm talking to whomever this energy belongs to, whatever you have experienced, remember it has taught you something. You may have to apply that wisdom, your past lessons, to a situation in order to see new growth or for your own growth.
but um, again, to do this, the Hierophant says that you need to listen. Look at his finger. You need to listen. Listen to the guidance that is being sent to you by the Divine. Your wisdom, your lessons in combination with your intuition will lead you to the solution for whomever this is for. I thank you for watching, for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.